Good day, good day, good day, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion. Today is February the 18th. I pray that you are doing well today and you are being blessed. Amen today. So, Ah, today is our food pickup day for our outreach ministry. And of course, uh, you see me looking uh, like I've been out working. Yes, that's because I have. Amen. <laughs> today we had to go and pick up uh, a truckload of food. Amen. Or a pallet, I should say, of food uh, to feed at least about 100 families. And so uh, me and Bishop was um, uh, like on an assembly line. We was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, transferring uh, uh, goods from one point to the next, amen, to get it to the uh, storage unit. So we'll have uh, bags to be giving out for our food uh, giveaway day on the 27th of, Je of February. So anyway, today, needless to say, has been a busy day, a glorious day, amen. And so I am here, amen, before I uh, uh, get ready to go into the other half of my day to give God some praise and take that pause. Amen. As you can see, I even got on my, my, my shirt today, my pause, pray and proceed because it's been one of those days where we need to take the time to just woosa. Yes. Woosa. <laughs> yeah. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. So our daily devotion today is talking about God takes the burden. And yes, he does. Let me tell you, he takes the burden. Uh, last year, you know, our ministry, uh, I had wanted to move to a new location. We're in a small area, a small town called the city of Waimama, where it's a predominantly Spanish uh, uh, area. Uh, and uh, we wanted to get into, because we realized there was no church in this area doing any type of food bank or food drive. Uh, and we wanted to to get set up doing that but needless needless uh we did not know that it would take a year to be on the waiting list amen to be able to get to, to the position to where we could do that and so uh this year in january we got to that position and so we're just so excited about what god is doing so uh you know God, you know, when you have a desire to do something, if you pray about it, amen, uh, and if God is leading you in that direction, don't let anything stand in your way. Let God take the stress and the burden of that thing, because if it's his will, God makes provision for the vision. Let me say that again. God makes provision for for the vision. And so this year we're able to do that. Last year we partnered with, with uh, several ministries to be able to feed the hungry. But this year we'll be able to, amen, start. And you know, no start is too small. Amen. Do not despise small beginnings. Amen. Do not despise small beginnings. So because I am rushed for time, I am going to go ahead and get into our devotion. And so our devotion today is saying, God takes the burden. It's coming from Psalms 103, the 13th chapter. And so as we do always, we read the first of uh, the chapter, be, uh, the verse before and the verse after. So it's 103, the 103rd chapter, I'm sorry, and the 13th verse. That is our key verse. Okay, so we're going to start at the 12th verse. And it reads, King James Version. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. <laughs> For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. <laughs> One of my favorite passages of scriptures. Amen. Amen. God takes the burden. And you know, there's another scripture in the word of God that says, we must come like little children. He says, suffer the little children to come unto him. And you know, that's just not little children as in age wise, but it's also those that has the heart of a child. Amen. You know, when, when we look at Abba, he said we can call him Abba. And when we look at Abba as our father, Amen. And we come to him in prayer and in worship like a little child. Amen. He says, come on, come on, suffer the little children. And he will no wise turn you away. Amen. And so that's the kind of faith we have to have, the childlike kind of faith. Oh God, as Peter said, Lord, I believe, but help thou my unbelief. And so today I want you to know, amen, give it to the Lord. 
Give those worries, give those burdens, amen, to the Lord. Uh, take, take them to the altar, but leave them there, okay? Leave them there. So as our, our story goes today, it says here, and I love this story. You know, I, I, I've told you many times, you know, when I get up uh, and, and the Holy Spirit woke me up again this morning, it was about 3.48, amen, I got up and, and uh, he did drop something in my spirit. I want to share with you before we finish uh, today, this, this daily devotion. Uh, but um, sometimes I don't get to the devotion that I read to you all until just before I'm coming on. And it always, I love waiting until then because I never know what surprise God has for me and for you. And you know, it was just so ironic that we went to the, you know, we went to the food bank to pick, pick up, you know, a, a drug load of food today. And I get here and Lord is, and the Lord here is talking about, uh, don't take no thought for tomorrow, what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear. And so <laughs> it is just so awesome that it seems like he just knows just what I need for that, for, for th that day and just what you need. And so that's why I'm doing this. I am doing this by faith that, that someone may be watching someone. I don't care if you're in Africa, if you're in uh, Argentina, if you're in Haiti, if you're in the Bahamas, that, you know, some word that God is speaking may be the word that's just for you. May be the word that's just for you. So the story reads here, it says, as God's children, we are dependent and dependent children spend little time worrying about their meals, clothing, and shelter. I know that's right. I have 14 grandchildren. And you know, neither one, of, neither, none of them spend any time worrying about, you know, what they're going to eat. They assume, and they have the right to, that their parents will provide everything they need. And let me tell you, God will provide. God will provide. Jesus said, don't worry, do not worry, saying, what will we eat? <laughs> or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? But seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. And that's Matthew, the sixth uh, chapter in the 33rd verse. That's one of our key verses for our kingdom uh, principles for kingdom living that we do on our, our broadcast every Saturday. Seek first the kingdom of God. And all these things, all other things will be added to you. I promise you. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, worry is an ingrained habit for the most of us. <laughs> I remember when the Lord delivered me from worrying. I mean, I, I was headed toward a stroke uh, and a heart attack. And the doctor told me if I didn't chill out that I would, have, I, I would easily uh, not live to see my children graduate from high school. So, you know, that's got to be a long time ago because my baby is 30 and my oldest is 40. So this is when they were, uh, my oldest, they were in high school. And I am the doctor gave because I was a worry war. I worried about everything. And God delivered me. I never forget what he delivered me from that. And I pray that if you're that way, that God delivers you. Because all it brings you is, is early, early death. High blood pressure, hypertension, everything. Bad heart. Take it to the Lord. You, if you can't do anything about it, then give it to the one who can. Okay. And so it says here, you know, unfortunately, worry is an, in, is an ingrained habit for the most of us. But because we are God's children, he is responsible for our welfare. That is why we should be casting all, all our cares upon him. Because he cares for you. <laughs> yes, he does. He cares for you. 1 Peter 5 and 7. So in other words, let God do the worrying, he says. I'll take the burden, but uh, I'll take the burden. Don't give it, though. Leave it to me. Don't give it a thought, I'm sorry, but leave it to him. He said he'll take the burden. Don't you give it another thought. Leave it to him. Leave it to him. Don't you worry about it. Why worry when you can pray? Cast all your cares on him, he said. Why worry when you can pray? Never forget, God is bigger than your problem. Yes, he is. God is so bigger than your problem. Amen. And I know that may be easier said than done, but take it from someone who, like I said, was delivered from worrying. 
I mean, I worried about everything and every day <laughs> and all things, it seems like. But I am so glad that the Lord delivered me. It is it, to be walking in freedom, amen, freedom from stress, freedom from worration, amen. Can, can by worry, I think the scripture says, can, can you, can you, you know, grow one hair on your head by worrying? Can, can you change anything? So give it to the Lord. Amen. Whatever worries pressed upon you today, put them in God's hands and leave them there. So the thought that I want to leave with you, amen, today before we finish, amen, like I said, we've had a busy day. We woke up, amen, well, the Holy Spirit woke me up and I enjoy my times, let me tell you. Uh, sometimes I have to ask him, Lord, let me sleep in so I can rest. But I never apologize for when the Holy Spirit wakes me up in the mornings. I enjoy my quiet time. I enjoy my alone time. I enjoy just even if I don't have anything to say, just waiting in the presence of the Lord. I enjoy that. And then by the time, you know, a daybreak come at six, you know, it, it, it's, it's too late to go back to bed. It's time to get up and start the day. But God has given me strength. He's regenerated me. He's renewed me. He's recharged me to be able to do what I need to do for that day. And like I said, today, you know, we had to drive about an hour away to the food uh, bank uh, to pick up the food and, and bring it back and, and, uh, and then, you know, un unload it uh, ourselves because we didn't have the volunteers or the help we needed today to do it. But that's okay because guess what? We got it done. We got it done. And God, amen, he was there to help us. And so uh, I'm going to leave you with this thought, amen. What would you, what would, what would we be free to do if we were free from worry? Let me ask you that again. What would we be free to do if we were free from worry? The next time anxiety creeps in, amen, the Bible tells us to be anxious for nothing. But the next time it says anxiety creeps in, let's choose to worship or be in God's word instead. It's a far better use of our time than worrying. And I want to just, before I, I leave and, and, and leave you this today, I want to just give you the little prophetic word that the Lord gave me this morning when I was up. He told me to just let his people know, the people of God know, that in this season, you need to be making sure when you get up in the morning that you put on the armor of God. Amen. You need to be reading Ephesians 6, 13. I believe it starts around the 13th verse. Uh, be reading that and dressing yourself. Amen. In the armor each and every day before you go out. Amen. Begin to repeat that scripture and ask the Lord to dress you in the armor. Amen. Girt your loins about with truth. Amen. The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. Amen. Ask him, amen, to give you that shield of faith for today. Amen. Ask him, amen, the sword of the spirit. Hallelujah. And to allow your feet to be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Begin to put on that armor. He told me to tell his people, don't forget, amen, to dress yourself in that armor each and every morning. Ah, mama, so cool, sha. So you'll be able to stand, to stand, amen. You know, we, uh, you know, sometimes standing is, is its own warfare, amen, uh, standing. So when the enemy began to shoot those fiery dogs, you can stand and you can war off them because why? You got on the armor and it won't. Amen. It won't, uh, uh, you won't be deterred by, by those things that catch you off guard because you have put on that armor. So with that being said, amen, may the God, amen, who is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless before the presence of the almighty God, amen, and I pray that you have a blessed day for the rest of the day, and I love you so much. Don't forget, please don't forget to subscribe, to share, amen, and like. Go on the YouTube channel and make sure you do that. That is the prayer channel with Odessa Trice, the prayer channel with Odessa Trice. Love you. Mwah.